Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to um, create an auto clicker using Python. Okay, so for this you're going to need uh, an import called PyAutoGUI. If for some reason, so when you're creating the script, let me just open uh, PyCharm. Okay, so this is the script that I made. It's, it's not very, <laughs> very hard at all. But you see this, if you get an issue that it's not recognizing the Pi Auto GUI import, then uh, what you need to do is uh, install Pi Auto GUI, and it's very easy. Uh, you just uh, uh, go to this site and actually just type this command right here. Let me zoom in and make sure you can see it. Um, on your um, Windows prompt, oops, uh, and that should install it and pretty much take care of everything anyways. I've already never got to upgrade it, but anyways. So that's pretty much how you install it. Now, I um, I don't know, they updated Python and now I'm having an issue using it. So I'm just gonna use it to make the script, but then I'll uh, copy it to um, uh, to a Notepad. So you can actually do this with Notepad if it's easier for you. So you import PyAuto GUI, and then you import time just so you can sleep. Uh, now, um, I guess you can do the uh, the way that they do it now is with that function. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah. So if name equals uh, main whatever. If you like it doing it this way, you don't really need to do it this way. But okay. So this is just our main function. So what you need to do is uh, you create your loop. So however much you want to have your loop for so for x in range uh, let's run it for 20 times uh, so this is just how many times we're going to click and then we have uh, just click so pi auto gui dot click um, and then that's pretty much your click and then you want to sleep to seem at least somewhat like a human and then you want to uh, just sleep. I think you put sleep. Maybe if not, you can obviously do time dot sleep. One second. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can change this as much as you would like. Um, let's see if it runs. Now, when you save it, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. You want to save it as a Python file, obviously. Clicker pi dot py. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if it runs great. If not, I'll just have to copy this because I probably made a dumb mistake. Okay, so that's your script and it's right here. Uh, now you're going to open your command prompt and you want to run. It used to be I had to run Python 3. Now for some reason, I have, I don't know if they updated or what. I have to run Python. So you do Python and then you do uh, the name clicker. I'm already in desktop, otherwise you have to move travel to desktop clicker.py.py let's see if it works okay so um of course i put rage instead of range actually i have it right here I can just put let's try it again make sure it's saved yeah Okay, so as you can see, it's clicking, clicking. This is me just moving it around right there. Clicked. There you go. Uh, I guess it's only ten times, right? So ah, there you go. Yeah, it's clicking. I think. Let me try it. Uh, let me try it faster. Just so we can actually. Oh yeah, it is clicking. Yeah, it's clicking. Okay. So as you can see, it's kind of just clicking. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can change the time here. You can do the click. Well, what else was I gonna do? Um, yeah, I mean that's it. I thought I thought there was something else I was gonna show. Yeah, so that's how you. Oh yeah, there there was something else I was gonna show. So let's say you have it at 200, and you want to exit right because you don't want to be stuck. Because if you run it here, then it's just gonna be clicking and clicking, and then. Anyways, let's let's just have it click while we do this. Oops, there you go. Uh, you can just call an interrupt, right? So control C, CTR, CTRLC, and then that ends the script. 
Okay, so that's pretty easy. That's pretty much it.